Hey guys, um, so it's about ten past five in the morning in the UK. Still not been to bed and just finished watching um, Fedor B, Fedor V Silver, and Fedor's pretty much just implied that he's going to retire, which is really unexpected. I honestly thought Fedor would win the fight. Um, I didn't think Silver was a three to, uh, three point five. Uh, to one on the dog, and I know a lot of people that were saying they want to put some money on it. And I was watching the fight with one guy, and he was gutted he didn't put money on the fight. He just never got around to it. But who could have seen this coming? Um, the fight, you know, Fedor in the first round, uh, he stood with Silver. He got taken down a bit, a little bit. He managed to stand back up, and. I honestly think Fedor won the first round. The second round, though, Silver came out. He took him down immediately at the start of the round and just passed him out and started beating on him. Uh, tried to go for a couple of chokes, couldn't quite get it, but just ground and pound 101. And at the end of the round, um, the doctor stopped the fight because Fedor couldn't see out of his eye. But even if he hadn't stopped the fight, you know, Fedor was on his last legs and I didn't see him really coming back from it from that point. Um, in regards to whether I think that it's a good decision for Fedor to retire, um, we saw earlier in the fight card Andre Arlovski lose his fourth consecutive fight, and recently it's becoming a bit of a consistent theme of some fighters fading into obscurity. Uh, we got Arlovski, Liddell, and I'd like to see Fedor retire. I mean. We like the good, interesting fights where, you know, Fedor's just going to come in and throw down. But you got to look after your legacy, man. Like, he's a millionaire. He's secured his legacy. He's going to be known as one of the greats for, like, eternity. You don't need to go in there and take shots to the head anymore, Fedor. Just retire. It's cool. We're like, we all get it. And even the guys that are saying he's not the number one in the world and... Oh, he wasn't the greatest heavyweight in the world, and I could be convinced, you know, he's not. He may not be the greatest or the number one of all time, but he is top five. You, you have to say he's top five, and he just he doesn't need to fight anymore. He, and I know a lot of guys fight for like the glory and the pride of it. I, I do jujitsu because I like to test myself against other people. And I like to see who comes out on top, but the I don't I just I can't see Fedor continue from this. You know, like his whole mystique was being the undefeated one, the great one, and two back to back losses. You know, he I just I think I think something's gonna snap, and the way that he was implying he's gonna retire, he he I don't see him coming back from it. Um. That said, you know, this is mixed martial arts, you never say never. Fedor could be firing next week for all we know. But from the looks of things, Fedor's gone, he's done. And honestly, I think it's a good move. But I'd love to know what you guys think. I'd love to know, number one, what you think of Fedor. Um, you know, was is he the number one of all time? Is he top five, top ten? Do you think you could beat Fedor? You know, let me know. Uh, number two, do you think it's a good decision for Fedor to retire? Um, like my opinions are clear. I want to know what you guys think. Number three, if you don't know, Fedor, one of the greatest guys, uh, heavyweights of all time. Google him, Wikipedia, and have a look. Uh, for a lot of the guys that only know about the UFC, uh, this will be a good time for you to you know look out and branch out and look at the fighting organizations and fighters. Um, so that said, I'm gonna go to bed, and I'll hopefully talk to you guys tomorrow or sometime soon. So there you go, guys.